For me, what makes it uh, continue to be exciting to, to write a record after you know being on our 15th record is the fact that, uh, and I'm very grateful for this, but we still have fans out there interested in what Bad Religion are releasing. You know, there there are a lot of bands that have been around as long as us, or there had been some, and there are still some. And I won't name any names, but they're sort of still touring on their first two records, and that's all people care to hear at a show. Uh, we are very fortunate that every time we come up with a new record, the, the, our fans embrace our new material. And if you go see a Bad Religion show today, more than half the show will be comprised of, rec of our last four records. And those are the ones that our new generation of fans identify with and that they're, they want to hear. Our first album was How Could Hell Be Any Worse? I don't think that we actually celebrated the release date. It wasn't, um, we weren't... Uh, I don't think we had a release date. Yeah, we weren't doing things so formally. You know, we kind of uh, picked up the records from the pressing plant and then... Uh, Sold them out of the back of our car. Yeah, like drove them to record stores and, you know, dropped them off on consignment and things like that. It wasn't really... I don't think there wasn't such a thing as a release date to us at that time. And we weren't part of that sort of real... Um, music business world. I, I, I uh, have a tradition of going to the record store and buying the record when it comes out. You know? Yeah. But as a band, uh, usually no. we've been touring. That's a tough question to answer because we haven't played the new songs live yet. So until you get out there and start playing them and, and you don't know how you feel on stage playing songs. Sometimes you're really excited to play a song, you get on and it's just not translating live. You never know why, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. Yeah, some songs are better as album tracks versus live tracks. It's just, it's so just, hard, it's really to, it's just hard to make it translate live. So, you know, when you get out there and you start playing and you start putting songs together and you start making that set list in your mind where it's like, okay, this, these songs work together, this idea works together. You don't know, probably by the end of this tour, we'll know a lot better. I always say it's like a family because I know it sounds cliche, but if you think about what a family has to do to function, they have to come together at the holidays. They have to, you know, uh, do certain traditions and certain rituals, but they don't necessarily, as you get older, have to spend every day with them. And I think one of the great um, success stories of this band has been that we've all been able to evolve as individuals and move away from each other and we we spent many years living in different cities even and then when we have to we come together and it feels fresh and exciting what you see right here is the longest uh, consistent lineup the band has ever had in our 30-year career no lineup has endured longer than this group uh, celebrating our third year anniversary so uh, we've all been together how when did you join the, the group Brooke? 2000 2001 and I'm 94 yeah I look great for 94 <laughs> but, 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 you really but, do thank you but we never had the same lineup for nine years and now we have with this lineup so this is this is the real battle